you that if I don't speak it, then I don't need yeah, to expose well, myself. You're doing as it. That's just pride. That's just pride. Like, oh, the Greek word here, and you don't no, even no. speak Greek. Do you fair know enough, Greek? Fair yeah, enough. I do know Greek. I've read the New Testament cover to fair cover enough. in Greek multiple times. So, so my name means my name is Chris, by the way. It's not even pronounced Metanoia. Okay, you, my name is Chris. That's fair. Pronunciation. Chris, well, how would you uh -huh. pronounce it? It's metanil. Okay, metanil. and it means okay. repent, right? Or what does it? Yeah, mean? it means let me, repent. Let me ask you. So why don't we just speak, speak English and just yeah. say repent? Repent. So Jesus said repent. to repent, right? Yeah, but you don't have to repent of your sins to be saved. Okay. Nowhere does the Bible say to repent of your sins to be saved. That's a works-based salvation. Does it say that in Luke twenty-four? I'm just asking you. Does it no, say that? No, it doesn't. So it doesn't say repent of sins for, for repent for forgiveness of sins. It does not say that. No, that's what not is it? what it says. What does it say in Luke twenty-four? It just says that repentance. Okay. And the forgiveness of sins should be preached. It doesn't Fair. say repent of your sins. So, okay. so here's the okay. thing. Repent means to turn okay. or to change your mind or to go in another direction. Yes. Okay. Well, guess okay. what? The thing that causes people to be unsaved is okay. that they don't believe in Christ. Do they have to change their mind to believe in Christ? Yeah. So that's repentance. But not repent of your sins. But they don't have to repent of their sins. They have to repent of believing in the wrong thing. So what could I say? Turn from your sins? No, that's a fault. That's a lie. So because if, if you have to turn from your sins, that's okay. works. Is, is it? <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, it's just so I mean, easy to turn from all your no, no, sins, no. right? Let me, let me ask you. Let it's me ask work. You, like you got to work on it every day. Let me ask you a different way. Is it work if God changes my mind and I turn from my sins? Look, does that make that all you're doing sense? is just you're just repackaging work salvation. There's two kinds of salvation. Okay. Faith. Okay. Mm -hmm. Works. Mm -hmm. I believe salvation is by faith. You believe salvation is by works. No. Okay. It's that simple. How can you prove that I believe it's by works? Okay, let me prove it to you. Okay. Jonah chapter 3 verse 10 says, okay. And God saw their works yes. that they turned from their evil way. Okay. And God repented of the evil that he said he would do unto them and you're, he did you're, it not. You're, you're making a category error because every time you see the word work, you think it's a bad thing. I didn't say it's a bad thing. I said it's not part of salvation. Yeah, we don't. Con our, our our repentance doesn't save us. Right. God, he, he, he said it did. He no. said to be saved. No. Have to he repent said of God change of mind. God grants that the change of mind because you must. You just agreed. You must change your mind to turn to Christ. Right. So as a result of that repentance, you trust in Christ, not in your work. So what does that have to do with stopping sinning? What does that have to do with turning from your sins? Perfect example. Jesus never ever sinned. Sin less, right? Uh huh. He never had to repent. Correct. He never had to change his mind. Well, God repented 41 times in the Bible. Well, I'm asking, does, did Jesus ever have to change his mind? He didn't have to change his mind, but he did change sure. his action. Sure. Like, for example, when he's walking on the water, he would have passed by, but then they called out to him, and then he turned and went to them. That's repentance. So my point is, he doesn't have to turn from sin to be pleasing to God. I have to turn from sin to be pleasing to God. Does it please God to sin? But not to be saved. Do, you don't have to turn from sin to be meaning, saved. Meaning, if when God makes me a child of his... I look more like Christ, and Jesus never sinned. That's my point. Am I wrong? I'm not interested in this conversation. You're not listening. I, I thought I was. Faith, your teaching works. That's All what right. I'm See asking. You I thought I was. Right. You guys listen to work salvation, and you know what? If you don't get off that, you're not saved. But we don't have to fully trust what Christ did. Not this thing of, oh, well, you know, God's going to change me and then I'm going to start doing all the right things and that's why I'm saved because I turn from my sin. That's a false doctrine. May I ask you another question I'm if you're busy. willing? I have other things Fair to enough. do. There are four million people in the city. Pick someone else to talk I, to I, I share the gospel. I'm not interested. This is not the gospel. This is a false gospel. That's what I'm trying to ask The gospel I'm trying to is believe you. on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. But, that's the gospel. Your uh, gospel is turn from sin and you'll be saved. It's not true. Doesn't he have okay? to die? I are, look, this is the second time we're having this conversation I'm I not guess. interested you're here just filming me I because you want to use you. my oh really that's why you have two cameras on me right now because you're not is, here to this film me. On. you're a liar you have two cameras this, on me this isn't on. you're filming me I, are you filming me with that yes, you're sir. not filming me yes, sir. yeah okay you're here to film me <laughs> I didn't come because film you want to use my you're, YouTube channel to promote me. yourself you're, okay I don't have you a are channel. wrong Steven I don't have a YouTube channel don't, don't call me Stephen. I don't have I'm not YouTube. your friend. I know you. You're probably not. Go away. I, I love you, though. Look, the Bible says, you, the Bible says a man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject. I have told you repeatedly that what you're teaching is a false doctrine, and I reject you. I'm trying to learn Leave. from you. I'm trying no, to you're not. You believe. You're trying to teach a false doctrine and make Steve, a video. Steve, I, I want you to leave me alone. Okay. I've, I'm on the phone. You've right, interrupted yeah. me Have four times. I'm you. doing my job. Have a good day. You've interrupted me four times. I want to be left alone. There are four million people in this city. 
Go talk to someone else, okay? Hey, you are a damnable heretic preaching lies. Go preach your lies to someone else. Preach your lies to someone else. I don't love heresy. I don't love false teaching. I don't love work salvation. Don't, don't call me Stephen. I don't. I'm not your friend. I know you. You're probably not. Go away. I, I love you. Don't, don't call me Stephen. I don't. I'm not your friend. I know you. You're probably not. Go away. I love you. Don't call me Stephen. I don't. I'm not your friend. I know you. You're probably not. Go away. I love you. Don't call me Stephen. I don't. I'm not your friend. I know you. You're probably not. Go away. I love you. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rechakwadash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, love aquarium. Shalom to the elect. Shalom. Okay, this is um, one other video with this guy, Pastor Stephen Anderson, going berserk on K-Dub. Okay. <laughs> Stephen Anderson explodes when K-Dub asks him about repentance. That's the uh, title of the video. This is on J Jesus is the Word Ministries, JTW Ministries. Okay. So he says, uh, Stephen Anderson explodes. Well, Stephen Anderson, Pastor Stephen Anderson, you know, he's a hyper guy, man. He's He's got a lot of energy, okay? Um, but this also proves that the Israelites have stirred up controversy because now, uh, in order to be a true Christian, you know, you know that they're listening to us. He says he goes to the, uh, the Greek. He's read it. Um, these other guy, K-Dub, he's... He, Called him on a debate and pulled the cameras out. What does that sound like? That sounds like something we did, okay? So now, you never heard of these Christians going back and forth on these debates, you know? Not like this, where they're pulling the cameras out and going back and forth. Okay, so now, these Christians are being caught in a trick bag. Now they have to do what the scripture says, at least uh, to their agenda, okay? Okay, anyway, Pastor Stephen says, he says, uh, works is not a part of salvation. Uh, your repentance is not a part of salvation. Okay, I, I don't know. You know, this may be a case of him going, trying to go too deep in, in, in his thought process. Uh, these guys all read different versions of the Bible. I mean, this is crazy, you know. I never heard that you don't have to repent in order to be saved. Okay, now if somebody so-called repents and they go back, like this one guy who did a video committing, he was a homosexual, and he went back to doing homosexual acts, well, he was never sincere. His repentance wasn't for real, okay? Okay, uh, he says, um, well, let me go on. This is what the guy says. Well, let me go, let me go get a, a scripture, okay, because he says, he preaches faith and the other one preaches works. Okay, so let's see what the scripture says. This is James 2 and 20. It says, um, But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Okay, was not Abraham our father, and that's what I went into, was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Okay, seest thou how faith wrought with his works? Okay, so first we have to understand that it's, it's important to have faith because we're faith-based Israelites. But uh, in understanding faith, a part of having faith is doing the works. Because if you don't do the works, you don't have the faith. And the works is doing what the Most High set, set us up to do, like going out on the highways and the hedges. Okay, that's part of faith. It all stems from faith. Okay? So you can, you got guys that do works. But you have a thing called sincere. You have two kind of works. Sincere and insincere. And this is why K-Dub said something about uh, you, you're speaking of works negatively. You got some people, some Jake who do work negatively. They just come in, they throw in the garment, they say they're Israelite, and they go out every week. So-called doing the work, which they're really not doing the work. But that's insincere work. Okay? Doing it in sincerity is where it comes from faith. Okay? So these guys are all confused. Okay? 
So anyway, he said he goes into repentance. Let's go back to uh, these guys is going back and forth. It says, uh, "Yea, see then how that by works a man is justified, and not by faith only." Okay, let's go to twenty-eight. For as the body is without the spirit is dead, so is faith without works is dead also. Okay, but really the faith and the works go to go hand in hand in sincerity. Okay, but with these guys doing it, they separating it. Okay, what it's all about faith along with the works because the, when you're sincere in your faith then you're going to do uh, that's why the scripture says be ye doers of the word and not hearers only that's part of the faith okay so let's go into repent okay repent means to turn from sin and dedicate oneself to an amendment of one's life okay uh, to cause to feel regret or contri contrition to feel sorry, okay, regret. So, when you go to the blue letter, G3340, it says to change one's mind. And this is where Pastor Stephen Anderson said, the Most High repented 41 times. He changed his mind, okay. First of all, the Most High, Malachi 3 and 6 says, For I'm the Lord, I change not. He don't have to change nothing. When it came to, uh, 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 Abraham and Isaac he already knew what he was going to do okay it's only a change of, of, of mind is when you don't know then you decide okay I'm going to change okay the Lord doesn't change everything is ordained he already set it up he said I'm the Alpha and Omega it's a book that's already written okay let's go to let's go to Acts 5 and uh, 31 it says, him have God, um, if you read this whole scripture, but it says, him have Yahweh exalted with the right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Which just cuts both of their doctrines, okay? The repentance was only for the Israelites. The renewing of their mind. That's what Paul was saying, the renewing of your mind. is re That's a form of repentance, Okay, repenting from your sins. Okay, it's the scripture says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Okay, and we'll say to the best of your ability. So yeah, it's by faith and grace, but with that comes the works. Okay, because if you're not doing the work, you don't have faith. And that's the bottom line. If you're not doing the work, you don't have faith. And I don't mean just doing the work, because you got some guys that's doing the work faithlessly. Okay, if you're not doing it in sincerity, okay, you're, it's, you're faithless. Okay, let's go to, um, I just want to do a short video on that, Revelations 3 and 3. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, hold fast and repent. Okay, which basically when you, saw, when it, when you look at the word repent, it says to change one's mind. And basically, that's going into uh, renewing your your um, sins. I mean, your your um, spirit goes on to say, change one mind for the better, heartily to amend with abhorrence of one's past sins. Okay, repent. Okay, so according to Pastor Stephen Anderson, he says, uh, repentance don't save you. Okay, so if that was the case. This guy, I, I'll just use that as an example, this guy that just relapsed into homosexuality and he did a video on it, he didn't sincerely repent. He didn't really sincerely change one's spirit, okay, to repent. He didn't change it for the better uh, of, of his past sins, okay? So you telling me because he says uh, somebody repents, they can't be saved? That means you can just commit all the sins you want to commit. And then, and then that takes the fear of the Lord away as well. When you go around teaching that you don't have to repent to be saved from your sins, okay? And, and I don't mean to sound like a Christian, but th this is for the elect, you know, because only the elect can repent anyway at this point, okay? The elect are the Israelites. So when the Israelites repent, Right?
which means changing their, their renewing their mind, changing their past from their sins, they can be delivered. If you teach that they don't have to change their spirit or change their past and, and change from their, their sins, how the hell is, what the hell is that, man? You know, this is a case where you got these, these, uh, these pastors and these crit now you're going to see all of them trying to be deeper than the next. All of them going to try to be on top. They're going to try to go a little bit deeper. And what they're doing is hanging themselves doing it, man. Okay. That just doesn't make no sense. Of, uh, you do not, you don't have to repent to be saved. Uh, that's crazy. That's all I have on that. Shalom.